Welcome everybody to the Dartmouth Memorial Stadium here in Dartmouth, Massachusetts for an excited anticipated matchup between the Aponiquit Lakers and the Dartmouth Indians. Ben Smith here on the call today and I uh, was very fortunate to interview both coaches to start this game today and you know they're really excited to get things started and this is a really uh, you know looking at the record uh, upon a quick coming in here 11 and 1 and then Dartmouth coming in here with 4 and 9 still a young team um, and I uh, and coach Rossi I was able to interview coach Mark Rossi just to start off uh, he hasn't reached uh, reaching the ceiling yet but he has room for growth and everything like that um, and he just has the talent, but he needs just to get there. And on the Aponiquit side, I was able to talk to Jeremy Modelman, uh, Nodelman. Um, he said his team is 11-1. His team is playing well, and they're still improving every step of the way. Um, you know, they're, they look, they have a lot of talent upon their roster, and especially being an 11-1 team, they're still growing. They got a long way to go. We will find out who takes the crown Right after this, folks, don't go anywhere. On the top of the hour, 4 o'clock here, um, we are getting ready to rock at uh, Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. Ben Smith on the call here today. And as we are getting set for this great matchup right now, we're going to look, we're just looking down towards the 50 yard line right now. Where the teams are getting ready to set, uh, get set, and get ready to go. We'll find out who will have possession first. So it looks like JT Charrier. So once again, the goalkeepers today are JT Charrier and for dark uh, for it looks like Charles Taylor or Owen. They didn't even give us the right numbers, but uh, of the players. But I'm assuming it would be Hunter Owen because he's on the top of that list right now. All right. Ball is at midfield, and we are ready to go at the Carl, uh, at the Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. And a little hustle to get the ball scooped up there by Dartmouth. Oh, and turnover on possession there. Taking it up the other the other side. Here's Levro. Levro passes it over. Oh, and scooped up there by um, scooped up by Eli Johnson there, but. 
back out the other way. Now Cussin. Cussin goes behind the net there. Back over. Tossing it to the near side here is LeMayu. LeMayu passes it downfield, and that is number 30, who is Jake Flounders. Now taking it up the other way here is Nick Anderson. Anderson throws it away, gives it up to LeMayu once again, and charging his way is Matt Borges. LeMayu spins around, makes another spin. LeMayu shoots. And a save by Charrier. Taking it up the other way, here's Gramlich. Gramlich staying aggressive. Gramlich taking it down. Loses the ball. Picked up there. And Dartmouth regains it. And oh, almost a goal there. And good stop uh good save there by the goalie. LeMayu passes it over. Back to LeMayu. LeMayu, near side. Shoots. No good. That is Joshua Keller. Out of bounds. And here is Cussin. Cussin shoots. Off the foot of Charrier. And no good. Rebound and take it up the next, up the other way. Here is Souza. Souza charging. Driving down the field. Souza passes it over. Now here's Hart. Oh, and Falcon tried to get it, but he was unable to get that there. Unsuccessful there that time. Now charging up the other way. Here is Anderson. Oh, hits the head. Passes it over. Now shoots. Charrier, save. Looks like that was Jake Flounders on that shot there. And, man, Andrew Souza with that aggressiveness. Yep, man, look, that is Flounders shoots it. I don't think Cherry even knew the ball was coming towards him. Tosses it over to the near side. Ta back out. Now here's Cussin. Back out to Win Winskick. Winniski, excuse me. And Cussin passes it back over to the near side. Here's Levero. Levero, oh, a little bit outside there. Cussin is taking it out for Ponequit. Down to the near side, there is Lemayu. Now here is Flounders. Back out to Levro. Now up down the middle, and there is a turnover there. There is uh, Anderson, but LeMayu picks the ball up. Harrison LeMayu. Now back out. Takes the shot. No good. Near shoot. It takes it. It gets a goal. Will Levro there. And that is the. Ponequit takes the lead early here. Wow, you got to give credit where credit is due. A near shot attempt, picks it up. Will Leverell scores. Joshua Keller tried to get score, but got cracked on the play there. And a scrum for the ball, and a Ponequit wins it. Now driving down the field here is O'Connor. Now back out to Levro. Levro. Covered by Gramlich. Now to the near side. Now Cussin from behind the net. Cussin. Back out to um back out to the near side that was Flounders. This is not a numerical order, so I can't even tell by the numbers. And this is the hard part when you're a commentator. You can't tell what the names are. Like, it's like vice versa. Now here's Levero. Back out to the near side. Passes over to Winiski. 
Back out to Levro. Levro. Lemayu. Lemayu covered by Souza. Now here's Wineski. Wineski shoots and no goal. Saved there by Charrier. Now Lemayu scoops it up. Lemayu still looking for an open guy. Back out to the near side. Here's Levro. Will Levro covered by Gramlich. Levro shoots and it's a goal. Will Levro there. Two nothing upon a quit. And look at this replay here. Shoots, easy goal. Made it look easy there. Two goals so far for uh, Will Levero. Hopefully he gets the hat trick here. Not so, not looking good right now for Terry behind the pipes today. Scooped up by uh, the other way, Falcon, but unable to get it now. Takes it down the field. That is Levro once again looking for the hat trick. Now Levro. Back, back out to Lemayu. Lemayu taking his time. Lemayu is going to charge. Lemayu is going to shoot. Oh, and he's deflected there. The defense by Eli Johnson, man. Now taking it up towards the near side. That Here's Jackson Hart. Quarterback for the football team. He shoots. Oh, no goal. Saved there on the near side by the goalkeeper. And Hart. And... Bobbled up there, but the goalie keeps it. 6.06 .06 left remaining in the first quarter. Poniquit is leading 2-0. Toss up to the near side. Here's Levro. And swat there from Gramlich, but unable to try to get the ball there. Back out to the near side. There here is Lemayu. Now to Levro once again. Back out to the near side. Toss over, and that out of play, looking for Cusson. And Jake Cusson, who's a guy who lead, who is an often goal scorer for this team. I mean, he's going to start answering a little bit soon, but so far, it's not looking like his game so far. No, now running down the field, here's Graham White. Graham White, another football player. A lot of football players on this team playing for both sides as well. Now pass out to Acosta, now to Hart. Hart played quarterback last year for Dartmouth, now to Carrero. Near side tosses it behind the net, there's Falcon. Back out to Acosta, to White. White covered by uh, Keller. Now here's Graham White. Graham spins away, shoots, bounces off, and uh, scoops it up there. Oh, and a near goal there once again for Dartmouth. That's Will Gibson. Taking it up is Wineski. Wineski, whatever. Now Levro. Levero covered by Gramlich. Levero spins, passes it over to Lemayu. Back out to the near side there. That is Flounders. And Flounders regains possession. Flounders on the charge. Bringing it up the other way. Cussin, back out to Lemayu. Lemayu spins out of the coverage. Covered up by Borges. Back out to Levro. Levro for the hat trick. No good. And goes out of play. Go. 
Now passed out to the near side, Winiski. Now towards the corner, Lemayu. Lemayu covered by Borges. Lemayu passes it over, shoots it, goal! The hat trick is in. Will Levro, three goals so far to start the game in the first quarter, and Apodiquit is up 3 nothing. Wow, Dartmouth is not looking good to start off this game so far. Something that they're going to have to look through at halftime right now. But so far, 3 nothing score for Apodiquit. Now on the draw looks like Eli Johnson there for Dartmouth and uh, Charles Taylor. Excuse me, Hunter Owen. Now Owen scoops it up. Oh, and he loses possession. And it's regained by a Poniquit. Oh. Gramlich giving him the business there. And a timeout is taking with 3.17 left in the first quarter here. And Dart Dartmouth is trailing 3 to nothing, folks. Um, not looking good for Dartmouth so far. You know, they got to they gotta really bounce back if they want to try to win this game. JT Cherrier behind the pipes. Not looking too good so far. Although he has the fact that he has four or five saves right now four or five saves right now. I have counted it in my head numerous times. That's how many times they have gone down that corner. But not looking good for Dartmouth so far. 13, 317 left remaining here in the first quarter. And there's something going through that uh, huddle right now that's going to really affect Dartmouth in many ways. Hopefully, like a change of rota rotation here. You know, coaching matters, and especially in this types of games. Dartmouth breaks the huddle, and we are going to going back to work here, folks. Ready to roll back out to the near side, Wineski. Wineski covered by Carrero. Now to the other side, back out to Lemayu. Lemayu covered by Borges. Lemayu pass. Oh, he gets tripped up and cut. Oh, they're gonna get. Oh, turnover there, and Dartmouth has the ball to come up. And intercepted. Take it up the other way, Lemayu. He shoots it, it's a goal there. Four nothing upon a quit, man. And this is a really change of events if you look at it. Tosses it, intercepted. Lemayu shoots. Makes it look easy there. And Coach Rossi is in disbelief right now. Taking it up the other way. Uh, looks like uh, Will Ganji there. Now down the near side. Passes it over. Now towards the net. There's Cussin. Now behind, shoots and deflected there. Now back out to the near. Here is Levro. Back it backs out to Cussin. Jake Cussin. Cussin shoves his way. He shoots. And it's no goal saved there by Charrier. And Aponiquit gets possession once again. Scooped up on the other side by Joshua Keller. And Cussin getting chased out by uh 
Aiden Guerrero. Down to the near side, back out. Spins away Wineski. Wineski shoots. Oh, and way too far. Not even there. So many shot advantages for Aponiquit so far. Like, even towards the corner, they haven't been that good. Really, down the, when they're in the middle, they're really good in shooting and scoring goals. Now, now here's Levero. Levero shoots and no goal there. And taken up the other way. Saved by, uh, now Anderson. Cherry are on the save, by the way. Now Hart trying to chase it down. Hart. And scooped up there. Oh, loses possession, but able to scoop it up. Will Levero. Now Levero. Passes it out to the near side. Now Levero once again. Leverell shoots. Saved there by Charrier. And a chase down is coming up for Dartmouth. And taking it up the other way is Andrew Souza. Souza taking it down the near field. He has to pass it to somebody. Who is he going to pass it to? Hart is wide open. They're going to pass it to the near side. That is Will Gibson. Passes it out. Graham White. Graham White. Ooh. And a turnover the other way. 20 seconds on the clock at the towards the end of the first quarter here at the Dart Memorial Stadium. Ooh! With Ray Gramlick, man. With that defense. You got to give credit where credit is due. And they're going to run down the clock into the end of the first quarter here at the Dart Memorial Stadium. 4 nothing score. Aponica is still leading. Uh, Dartmouth trailing by four right now. We'll be back right after this. Do not go anywhere. And we're about to start the second quarter here at Dartmouth Memorial Stadium right now. It is uh, four nothing upon a quit in favor of upon a quit right now. Ben Smith on the call if you're just tun tuning in right now. Um, and we are about to start the second quarter here. And really, Dartmouth really needs to come in clutch and really bounce back here if they want to win this game. Not looking good in Dartmouth. Not looking good in Dartmouth's favor so far. It's something that they got to look forward to. Now here, Levro passes it out to Cussin. Cussin behind the net. Now to the near side, Winenski. Now back out to the near corner, Keller. Keller passes it over. Now Winenski. Now shoots it. It's a goal. Jake Cussin there. 
Five nothing. Upon uh, Uponica is Uponica is up right now. I thought there was a brief interruption there. But wow, it makes it look easy. This is what I'm telling you. When you always you gotta count on Jake Cousin in the, these situations. This guy is legit. He can play lacrosse. Now Levro, uh, excuse me, Lemayu. Taking his time here, 11.27 left to go. Now looks behind the net, back to Cussin. Now to the near corner from Flounders. Now Lemayu. Covered there by Gramlich. Lemayu charging. Lemayu shoots, and it's a goal! Two goals so far for LeMayu, and Dartmouth is trailing by six. There's got to be a certain amount of adjustments here coming up for Dartmouth, but it's not looking good in their favor. Look at this. Spins away. Shoots. Makes it look easy. And Levro down to the near side, taking it down the field here. Don't want Gramlich to get beat up by that hole once again, like he did in the last play. Back out to Cussin. Cussin covered there by Johnson. You know, when you're playing lacrosse, these sticks, I've heard a lot from a lot. Oh, and shoots! And a save by Charrier. But once again, when you're playing lacrosse, these sticks, when they're hitting you, they hurt. Scooped up by Levro. Pass out to the near side. Shoots! Flounder scores! And Dartmouth, what is going on, man? 7 nothing. So far. But Dartmouth not looking great so far. Now to the near side, Winesky. Winesky. Now here is Lemayu. Back out to the near count corner. Now Wineski once again. Went in and shoots. Save there. Oh, it's a goal. Oh, I got tricked. <laughs> got that commentator trick, th trick there. <laughs> I didn't even see it. But look at this. When I ski. Makes it look easy. Oh, that hit the goal. Yeah. And Emery. Trying to get it, but unable to get that. And LeMayu once again for Aponiquit. Down to the near side. Aponiquit has a lot of advantage. If we have like the stat near the corners there, stats near the corners, they could actually tell the time how long they have had the possession. Because I, I, I don't even keep time of this. I might have to do a stopwatch from now. But I'm assuming they have had more possession than Dartmouth in their own zone. Now to, back to the near side. Here's one ice ski. One ice ski. Covered. He shoots. And it's another goal. Back-to-back -back goals from Winiski. And it's a 9-0 game for Dart, uh, Aponiquit. Not looking good for Dartmouth so far. 
Nine nothing is not the place you want to be. They've have allowed five goals in the last four minutes. Under th under under three uh, four minutes, excuse me. Four goal uh, five goals in the last. Not looking good for Dartmouth. White. So looks like it stepped on the ball, so it's a white. Ball now here is Graham White once again. Back out to the near corner. Here is Gibson from behind the net. Jackson Hart. Oh, shoots in. It's a save. Now Levro down to the near side. Back out to uh, Lemayu. Lemayu. Still looking. He's taking his time here. Now to the near side, back out. Now here's Cussin, shoots, and now Lemayu. Another goal, a hat trick for him. Three goals, and this is ugly. Not looking good for Dartmouth. I don't know what's going on right now, but allowed f six goals in the last, in the last uh, six minutes. They have allowed six goals. Now charging up to the near side. He shoots in. It's a deflection there by Elijah jo Eli Johnson there. Now take it up to the near side. Graham White. Graham White down, down the field. And adjustments coming in for Dartmouth. Adrian Acosta and Jacob Grieve coming in. And Falcon. Passes it to behind the net there is Jacob Grieve. Grieve back to Falcon. Falcon can have all day. What is he going to do? He's, he's looking for an open guy. Passes it over to the near side. Now to Gibson. Gibson. Still looking. Gibson. Trying to find a way. Now White. White can have all day. And Dartmouth can have all day to keep the time. And Gibson passes it out to Acosta. Acosta passes it over to White. White, oh, loses possession there. And now Acosta taking his time, 6.35. A correction, here's Jackson Hart. Hart sh loses possession. And... S scooped up. Oh, it's going to be a turnover. And it's a flag on the field. They're going to get Graham White on a delay game because he tossed the ball. All right, let's look at the replay here. This is what Graham White did at the end, and this is why he got penalized. He got whistled. Yeah. Quite obvious. <laughs> oh, loses possession. Jake Cussin. Cussin regains it back. Now back the other way. Turns around, shoots. No good. Save there. And a chase down. And take taking it up is um, Levro, but it's it, possession is in favor of Dartmouth. Loses possession. Still, uh, and it's a Poniquit ball now. A Poniquit coming in on the charge. Toss to the near side. 
Levro now back out to the near side. Keller from Keller to Wineski. Wineski shoots back out to uh, Lemayu. No good. And that goes out of play and still an upon a quick ball. White ball coming in. It's Dartmouth possession. Oh, a little trickery of a play there. Trying to look like Linus Omar over there. Now chased up to the near sideline. And, uh, now here's Andrew Souza. Souza spins away. S Souza moves around. And uh, looks like Falcon was trying to get the pick there. Trying to look like a basketball player over here. Use some adjustments for Dart. Using some adjustments for Dartmouth now. Back out from Hart to the near side to White. Now back to Hart. Jackson Hart. Quarterback from the team last year. Football team last year. And did well in, in his few games as quarterback. And you know, he's a young player who's got a, a young future ahead of him. Big future ahead of him as well. Ooh. And it's a flag. A flag is in. Either way, they're going to still, no matter what, it's still going to be called a penalty. So either, he's going to shoot, and it's going to be a missed. So it's a white ball. It's going to be a... Uh, Looks like a hold in there. We thought we had the replay for a second, but we didn't. <laughs> uh, shout out to our guys who are in the truck today watching this. Excellent affair so far. <laughs> now White passes it over to Falcon. Back to White. Now to Hart. Hart back up to the near side. Toss it up. Spreads the money. I'm kidding. Does he get the money? Jackson Hart shoots and no good. Lennox Masuko there. He was trying to get the ball but unable to. Now Masuko going to bring it on out for... Dartmouth. Now shoots, and it's a goal! Graham White there for Dartmouth. And Dartmouth finally puts a score on the board. And Graham White wide open. Boom, the lace it dagger there. So 3.42 left to go. 10-1 upon a quit. Leads by nine. And charging up the next other way. Here's a pot of quit. Taking an advantage. Oh, and a great save there. Deflection and Flounders will chase it down. And a pot of quit will have the ball here to start off. Now here's Cussin. Jake Cussin. Winiski. Shit. Save there. Now scooped up the other way. Charging down the field here. That's Matthew Borges. Shoots and it's a goal! That is Will Gibson there, the sophomore. And a 10-2 two, two score here with 3-10 left remaining. Wow, what a change of events here for Dartmouth. Two straight goals in the last minute. And Dartmouth. Oh, and a, take it up the other way here. 
looks like it's O'Connor. O'Connor passes to the near side. Wineski. Wineski. Cousin. Goal! 11-2 upon a quit. With 2.54 left remaining in the second. And makes it look easy. Two straight, uh, two goals for Jake Cusson. A guy I said you guys really need to count on. And scooped up the other way. Oh, loss of possession. Levero picks it up. O'Connor runs off to the sideline for a breather. Now Keller comes in, and so is Jacob Grieve. Now Wanaiski shoots, and it's a goal! 12-2. to two. Man. This is ugly for Dartmouth so far. And one ice key once again, make it a look easy. And white, uh, so Dartmouth ball. Here's Gramlich. Down to the near side, here's Jackson Hart. What can Hart do when he comes for you? And now to the near side, here's Falcon. And Falcon spins away. Back out to Gibson. Gibson passes it over to White. And looks like his shoulder pads messed up after that play. Now back out to the near side. Here is Falcon. Ryan Falcon trips up. Falcon has an open Gibson. Passes out to Gibson. Back out to uh, Costa. Down to the near side. Uh, under a minute 30 left remaining here, folks. And Graham, Graham White. Here's the charge by White. White passes it over. Gibson. Gibson taking his time. Uh, correction. Now pass over. Down to the near side. Scooped up. And take it up the other way. Down to the near corner. Now here's the chase down. Back over to the near. Oh! And that's going to go out of play to the near side. Forty-one seconds left remaining here in the quarter here. Dartmouth trailing by ten. Not looking good for Dartmouth. Intercepted on the near side. Take it up the other way. It is Taylor. Taylor to Cussin. Wide open. Winiski shoots and it's saved there by the goalie Charrier. JT Charrier, man. And uh, hit by a stick there. Oh, and the cl clock will expire at halftime, folks. And Dartmouth not looking too good for them right now as they're down by 10, folks. Uh, I wonder what coach will be saying at halftime here. And this is not looking good. So, folks, it is halftime at the uh, Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. 
This, your score for right now, it is 12 to 12-2. We'll be back for second half coverage right after this. Don't go anywhere.
We are about to start the second half here at Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. Ben Smith on the call here today, and I not looking good so far for Dartmouth. You, you know, right now they're down by ten. Uh, not looking good for them. This is not how we're, you know, looking at the record wise, eleven and one and four and nine. I can expect that for a game like this. Um, but really, man, it, but they're still a young team. They still got a young head coach who just joined this wonderful team this year. But they're going to learn throughout the ways, and they'll get better every step of the way. So we are about to get set for the second half here at, uh, at Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. And the draw right now looks like it is um, Hunter Owen and um, Eli Johnson there. Now bobbled up and loses possession. And Dartmouth will get will get the ball for the first time this quarter. Now here is Jackson Hart. Hart having time. He has all day. Hart still looking. Back out to Graham White. White to the near side. Passes it over to Gibson. Will Gibson. Now here's White. Back to Hart. Hart to Acosta. Acosta. Back out of Falcon now from Falcon to White. Now to the nearest corner. There is Masuko. And Masuko once again to Hart. Hart taken all day. Hart will look. Hart will shoot. Oh, and deflected, but in a, uh, regaining possession. Great catch there by Masuko, who has been playing since his young days. Now it's from White. Now to White. Now White. Taking his time once again back out to Jackson Hart. Jackson Hart spins away. Hart passes it over. Acosta. Acosta passes it over to the near side. There is Falcon. And shoots. Oh, wide open. Just a little bit out off, outside there. Not that great. We'll get the replay in a second, though. Oh, loses possession. That's something he'd want back. Let's look at that replay of Lennox Misuko's wide open. Look, wide open. Oh, man. That's something he wants to get back there. He wants back. That, that's that gotta ki that's got to kill you when you're an athlete like that. Ooh, loses possession. Picked up Lemayu. Lemayu passes it over. Levero, ooh, loses possession. Again, regained it. Now here is Graham White. Graham White down the field. Sprinting down there. Dartmouth has had more advantage in this quarter right now. Here's Gibson. Back out to the near side. Oh, Falcon loses possession. And whistle. Dartmouth ball. And Gibson. Passes it to the near corner. Now here is Graham White. 9.08 left remaining. Now J Jackson Hart has the ball. Taking his time here. Back out to White. Now back to Hart. Hart spins away. Hart spins. He shoots. 
Pass out to the near corner. Oh, Graham White, wow. Had the rocket there. Unable to get it. Ryan Falcon on the corner. Uh, bringing it out for Dartmouth. Spins away. Oh! That's a penalty all day. Lennox Masuko just got knocked down there. And Graham White. No, and goes out. And that's going to still stay in Dartmouth's favor because of the penalty there. And that was a quite easy penalty to look at. If you're standing on your own ground and getting that hit, And lacrosse is like, if you look at it, lacrosse is like a mix of football, hockey on grass. Hockey on grass, that's what I would compare it. Now here's Hart, shoots, oh, deflected there. And that will go out of play. Uh, Bryce Desiree couldn't even catch up to the ball there. And ball still in favor. Masuko. Back out to the near side. Here's Falcon. And shoots it. It's a goal. Lennox Masuko two straight in a row. And Dartmouth. 12-3. Upon a quit leads. But great to get a goal off. Possession will go to Aponiquit. Aponiquit will have his first goal. No. He'll go out of play. Back out to the near corner. And off the feet of um, Grieve there. Cussin down in the near field. Lemayu, but intercepted on the, trying to get it. Oh, but Gramlick trying to get in, get that ball there. And Gramlick is able to succeed possession, possession there. Now taking it down their own zone. Now Graham White, wide open hole. Graham White. Back to Gibson. Gibson spins away. Mac out to Graham White. He thought of shooting it, but unable to there. Hopefully Jack, I mean, Jackson Hart, another team leader as well. Team player, great team player. Shocked that he hasn't had no goal so far. Before the pre-announcers jinx, here is Jackson Hart. Hart, near side, goal! Ryan Falcon there. 4-12 Dartmouth. And a timeout is taking, taken there. Excuse me. I mean, I, I like what I've seen so far to start this, uh, to start this quarter here. Dartmouth, uh, Dartmouth didn't even allow any goals so far in this half, or even in this quarter in general. They haven't allowed any goals. But still, it's still we still have a ball game, folks. 6.20 left remaining, and <sighs> this, this week surrounding around town, if you are all here um, just saying for people who watch... Dartmouth Community Media or 
students around Dartmouth High School. Um, there's a big event coming up this week. We have Special Olympics on Friday, and then we have one here at the stadium the 25th. So it will be exciting to... I'll be emceeing that event, so I'm really excited to do it once again. Um, be a part of this wonderful organization of Special Olympics and be a part of Unified Sports as well. I have, honestly, I have two families. I have my regular family. I have TV, I have TV media and slash Unified Sports. Those are my two families. I don't even think, I don't even consider, maybe three families, but go on the same, they all go on the same category in my books. Down to the near field, Wineski now shoots and it's a goal, a hat trick. Three for number three, Jay Cusson there. And I shouldn't have said that because 20 seconds later, 10 seconds later actually, a goal comes in for upon a quit. The announcer's jinx from Ben still continues, folks. Jake Cousins still keeping a look, making it look easy. And possession's going the other way. And Substitutions, and, uh, Andrew Souza's coming in, and so is Joshua Keller. Back out to the near side, here's Flounders. Flounders to Levro. Lever, uh, excuse me, Lemayu. Now Winenski. Covered by Carrero. Now here's Cussin. Now Cussin. Back over. Oh, loses possession. Now regains it. Open room, and it's a goal. 14 straight, uh, 14 points, and goes to number 14 there. And this thing from Dartmouth, not looking good so far. Allowing two goals in the last in the last um, 52 seconds. Not really looking good. Whistle blown. And Aponiquit will have possession. And down to the near side. Back the other way, uh, Lemayu. From Lemayu to the near side, that is Taylor. Charles Taylor tosses it over. And turnover by Dartmouth. Loses possession. Uh, looks like Will Anderson there. And take it up the other way. Jackson Hart. Oh! And tripped up there. Wrong place at the wrong time, Ryan Falcon. And that will sail out of play there. 4.25 left remaining in the third. Dartmouth is trailing by 10. Now here's Jackson Hart. Hart shoots, and it's a goal! The moment fi finally happened, Jackson Hart gets the goal. 5-14, Dartmouth trailing by nine. Not in a good place for Dartmouth. Still ugly, but at least putting up some points really enhances their team. A goal is a goal, as they say. And referee will play possession in a pawn equip. 
And Aponiquit taking it down. Back out to the near corner from Keller. Open room. Goal! Kevin O'Connor there. His first goal of the game. And Dartmouth still in hot lava. Hot water, excuse me. Um, let's look at the replay here. Keller makes it look easy. Yeah. See, when you have the hand-to-eye coordination, you know what you're going to do, and you know what the play is coming up next. That coordination's really awesome. And now O'Connor wants two. Doesn't get two. And now, uh, excuse me, Carrero. And scooped up by Charrier. JT Charrier, another player from the football team this year. Really good on that defense and special teams as well. Back out from Wright. Now to uh, Hart. Hart to Gibson. Back out to Hart. Now Jackson Hart wants two. Shoots. No good. Off the mark. And goes out of play. On to the near corner. Scooped up. Hart bounced off the grass there. And goes sails out of play. Still Dartmouth ball. Felt wrong saying off the grass, I meant off the turf. And here is Falcon. Falcon spins away. Back out to Acosta. From Acosta to Hart. Hart, back out to White. White to uh, Gibson. Back out to uh, White. White. When Graham White is taking his time, now back out to Hart. Hart spins away. Hart shoots, no good. And that will go out of play. Still Dartmouth ball. Aiden Carrero will bring it out. There's two Aiden Carreros. So, and and eight, the Aiden Carrero number 19 told me, just call him, call him AC. I will. Uh, now, take it up the other way. Back out from Hart. Now Hart spins away. And here's Gibson. Back out to Hart. Gibbs, uh, Hart spins away. Tripped up. Getting cover. Defense taking, taking coverage there. Now here's White. White. Oh, off the helmet. And Bricochets. And that will go. Oh, the... The goalie's hurt here. It's not good for a Poniquit right now. You know, he took... We could hear it from all the way up here. That's how loud it was. That, that ball that ricocheted was that loud. He's going to take the helmet off for a sec, and... It looks like... We have a new goalkeeper for a Poniquit. Now down the field, Cussin. Cussin back out to Winiski. Now here's Levero. Levero spins away. 
Levero passes it over. LeMayu now cussing. Wide open O'Connor and shoots no good. But, but still you got the lead here by 10. Oh, intercepted. Takes it up the other way. Shoots it and it's a goal. Five, four, number 14. And Dartmouth, it's not looking good. Their largest trailing today. The largest lead for Aponiquit right now. Man. Bounced off and in once again. This game is just, it's a complete blowout and I th we know we were expecting it though. Because Dharma's still a young team. They still got young players, I mentioned earlier. So, they're still in the middle of rebuilding, so. Runs out of bounds. Uh, their player substitution coming in. Uh, Will Ganji is coming out for Dartmouth. And a flag is coming in. Looks like Acosta with the stick. All right, let's look at the replay here. They're going to call it on Dartmouth. And I didn't see it from... Oh, yeah. And LeMayu is going to pick up the flag. Thought he was going to do a Marcus Peters where he throws it up in the crowd, but... Five seconds on the, three seconds, two seconds, and they're just gonna let that hold down. And that's the end of the third quarter here at Darwin Memorial Stadium. Folks, we have a ball game. We will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere for the fourth quarter. And we welcome you guys to the final quarter of this game. Looks like a, it's going to be a complete blowout right now as Dartmouth is trailing by 11. The largest they have been trailing today. And not looking good so far with this team. team this team couldn't play defense today. And you're going to have some good days and you're going to have some bad days. And you know, learning from that. Um, if you haven't worn, uh, watched Giannis Antetokounmpo's interview after he lost to the Miami Heat in the playoffs, he said Michael Jordan didn't even, did won six championships. The nine others, he didn't make. He didn't make it. So you're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days. So uh, that he also mentioned that later in his interview. I think it was earlier, but. Now shoots it. Oh, Graham White, man. He's stunning all of us today. Nick Anderson taking the early shower and 
walking off the field now. Shoots it. Oh, off the, out of play there, and that will go in favor of Dartmouth still. Excuse me, upon equip. And down the field, Aponiquit taking possession in their own zone. Aponiquit moving away. And it's a whistle, whistle blown there. And uh, it's going to be a Dartmouth. It's going to be in possession will be in favor in Dartmouth. And taking it up, here's Graham White. Graham White spins away. Graham White. Passes it over to 22, like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Jackson Hart. Now to Ryan Falcon. Back to Hart. Now from Hart up to uh, White and Graham White. Oh, a little bit outside there from Graham White. See, these shots by Graham White is going a little bit outside. And that's the problem. He's not really managing his shots really well. Back out to uh, uh, Hart. From Hart. Taking it up the other way. And that will roll... How to play, and that will be an Aponiquit. The possession will go in favor of Aponiquit. Yeah, once again, we have a lot of things coming up for Dartmouth this week, especially in in uh, Unified Sports. We have Special Olympics Friday, and we have the, once again, we have the, the Elementary Special Olympics here on the 25th, 10 days from now. Driving down the field, here's what Wynowski. And here is um, Cussin. And Levero. Oh, and take it up the other way, Wynowski. Oh, behind the back and a goal. You can catch that on SportsCenter Top 10. Making that look easy. All right, here is uh, Levro. Too bad we couldn't get that replay, though. Really consistent play there. Well, consistent play as well. Um, rolls out of play, and that ball, that will go in Dartmouth's possession. Down the field. And now taking it up the other way from LeMayu. O'Connor trips up. He scoops the ball. And Cussin from behind the net. Jake Cussin spins away. Cussin spins once again from uh, Eli Johnson. Down to the near side, LeMayu. LeMayu covered there by uh, Souza. LeMayu looks, shoots, goal! 
Lemayu there. And they are up by 13, their largest lead once again. They're enhancing their lead once again as well. This is a running clock. It's the fourth quarter, folks. All right. And, ooh, Darmouth keeps in possession. Now possession in favor of Aponiquit. Taking it up down the field. Once again, here is Blounders, who only has one goal today. And rolls out of play, and that will be Dartmouth ball. And here is Jacob Grieve here. This is what you should do right now if you're down this big. Put all your bench players in and let them play till the end. If I'm a Poniquit, I'd do the same thing. Oh, tripped up. Looks like it was Jackson Hart there. Loses possession. Spins away. Keller. Now take it up to the near side. Here's Levro. Levro passes out to the near corner. From Levro to... From LeMayu to Levro, now to Keller. Jake Cusson. Cusson, oh, and there's going to be a flag. I could call that all day. Now here's Cusson. Spins away. Looks, ooh, tripped up once again. Cusson. Shoots. Save. But still, the penalty will go against Dartmouth here. I don't know, there ain't no way you're going to come back with 431 left. Let's look at the penalty there. Easy. Oh yeah, in the face. I would No matter what, you would have called that all day. Like I just said, this is a mix of football, a football on grass, uh football, hockey on grass because this is similar to hockey. They're behind the nets. Hockey is way behind the nets. And um, they have penalty flags in this game. So, And that rolls out of play. And that will be a uh, Dartmouth ball. And, oh, scooped up and deflected out. And that will be out of play. Goes in favor of Dartmouth. Possession in favor of Dartmouth. And Cusson staying aggressive, man. Now driving down the sideline. Here's Hart. Shoots. Oh, and it's a goal. Jackson Hart, two goals for him. And Dartmouth, still in hot water. 2.55 left remaining. When you have a backup goalie, something that you hate right now, that's really thing, one thing that you would want to cash in for. Jackson Hart going to the sideline for a little breather after that one. And here is Levro. Gonna let that one go. See, I announced so uh, many basketball games, and I can 
know these players' names, like Joshua Keller, Will Levro, what, Jackson Gagnier. I announced that one of their games in like I think February, January ish. I'm gonna have to look at that. One fifty three left remaining, and Dartmouth is once again still in hot water. But put all your bench players in. Like I said, when you're in a big, c consistent lead, lead right now, I just take out the starters and put the whole bench in. They're just going to chew off time here. Time ticks off. Under 130 left remaining. Back out to the near side. And here is LeMayu. LeMayu, one minute left remaining in the quarter. Time, time will take off, so... All they're trying to do is hold off time so Dartmouth doesn't score here. Once again, thank you all for tuning in uh, once again today. It's really eventful afternoon here at the stadium. As, as LeMayu will just stay there and run down the wind down the clock here. Under 30 seconds remaining, Dartmouth still in hot water, and the game most likely will end in that favor. Uh, Acosta trying to strip it away, AJ Acosta there. And they will let that one go. Dartmouth falls short here at the stadium. And Aponiquit takes their... 12th victory of the year and Dartmouth falls to 4 and 10. Not looking good for them so far. And they got to look forward to this as soon when they they got many matchups coming up but like they're still a young team still staying consistent. They still got a long way to go. And before we end my final takes of the game, Dartmouth really my final thoughts, Dartmouth had um Really, their defense didn't show up today. You know, you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. But hopefully next game, Dartmouth shows up. Dartmouth, I think, plays on the road next game. And Aponiquit moves on to 12-1 and on the year. They're red hot, so they're a really good team as well. Um, but anyways, folks, with all that being said, from our entire crew here, uh, we have Ar Ari Park. We have um, Dan in the truck, and so is Mike Meniz. And from all of our crew here at Dartmouth Community Media, I'm Ben Smitty-Smith, and until next time, so long, everybody.